Yes, people, welcome to a brand new episode of Titan Talk. It's your boy Kyojin. The kid AB. And it's special guest, Ads or Adam. And today we've got a very special episode because we have a very special guest today. Um, a famous YouTuber, Instagram buddy, Rahma oh, Ali. Good. Hi everyone, my name is Rahma. It's nice to be here. <laughs> Thank you for coming on. Uh, obviously today we've got a special episode because we asked you guys at home uh, to send in some dilemmas, some advice, questions uh, to ask Rahma. But just before we get into that, obviously, um, you're doing really, really well on YouTube, on Instagram. And I feel like just as a first question, we just wanted to ask you, like, how did that journey kind of start for you? I think it first started when um, I went on this holiday and I started vlogging and I really, really enjoyed it. And then um, because before I used to vlog with my friend and I thought it'd be something that I wouldn't enjoy doing by myself as well. But then, yeah, I just tried it. And then at first, it kind of started off for fun. And I feel like for a very long, for a while, it was something that I just enjoyed and did part-time. Would... Cool, 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 cool. What kind of videos do you do now? I do vlogs, um, a mixture of things. So it just depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes cooking videos. Yeah. What's Every... your, what's your tw- uh, I mean, what's your uh, YouTube uh, channel name? Um, Rahma Ali is my name. Nice. Come on, bro. You got to do your homework. Also, huh? in, in bro, it's you... for the viewers out there. <laughs> <laughs> also, if, if anyone's interested in watching any of her videos, there's one video where there's like a, a very good looking guy in it. Um, gives great advice. Yeah. The yeah, best so advice. Want... I've not been on that channel yet. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> guy, I'm still my spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> 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 that was the funniest joke okay, ever, man. God damn. Uh, <laughs> calm, it's calm, it's calm. So, let's get straight into what we came for this episode for. So, you guys sent in some questions, um, and we might as well get straight in. We asked the viewers uh, to give some relationship advice. If they've got any dilemmas, we'll solve them for you. Do you get me? So, hmm. we've got some stinkers, man. Man, I'm out here struggling. Uh, it's like, do you guys want to hear the first? Man one? them and gal them. Yeah, did we not get any uh, women <clears throat> asking stuff? I think this, this some, this some. Um, okay. But someone said, I have to start with this one. Yeah, someone said, I can't stop thinking about toes. Toes. <laughs> That's... I don't know which which. Why is that a dilemma? Wait, guys, guys. <laughs> that. Speaking of toes, should I tell you guys about my toe encounter? What? <laughs> so you might want to pop yeah. it out. I don't know. No, 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 no. We'll keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I was at the petrol station, like a few days ago, and I was wearing open toe shoes. So then, um, I got, I tried to get petrol, but it was the space was too tight because the woman didn't go forward enough. So I was like, okay, let me get back into the car, and then I'll wait till she finishes, and then I'll edge forward so I can get petrol. I was literally out of the car for 30 seconds, okay? Not even 30 seconds, like, I just tried to get gas, I couldn't get gas. This man, he knocks at my window, and I thought he was trying to tell me that there's a problem with my car, a problem that I already know about. But I was getting ready to act surprised, like, oh, thank you so much, I'm going to get that fixed soon. I'm never going to get it fixed, probably. <laughs> but then um, he goes, he goes, excuse me, he goes, your feet. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I was well, I was so gobsmacked. I was so gobsmacked. He goes, he goes, you have really nice feet. Because you know, some men they 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 like feet. <laughs> what? Yo, goes, where was this? Goes, I think I was goes, there. You know. He goes, <laughs> he goes, he goes, he said some men like different things because some men like feet. Yeah. And to top it off, he said. Can I see them again? And he was like this at my window. I was like, and I was like, what I was the like, hell? I was like, I was like, no, 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 stop, stop. stop, stop. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was so mortified. I was mortified for the whole day, maybe even the next day. Wow. Wow. That is nuts. I can't believe Mike yeah. just came up to you and said, you, he didn't even say they're nice at first. He just said, your feet. Can yeah. I see I'm, again? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm the 97%. Oh, we should laugh about that. <laughs> No, well, no, yeah. but I'm saying it's not funny, but I'm saying like it's quite sad how yeah. I feel like we as women, it's like it's easy for us to it shouldn't be this easy for us to brush things off like this because I feel like men being creeps, not sorry guys, no offense. 
Now they can no, say man, it's, it's We're not creeps. But I feel like <laughs> I know it's not. I know it's. I know it's. I know it's not all guys. I know it's not all men. But I feel like it's such a regular occurrence. Yeah. Yeah. Can I? Can I? Can I tell you guys something? Go on. As was the it. person. As was the person <laughs> who said that. Are you? Huh? huh? As was hacked. the person who said that. In. I got hacked. Bro, remember Listen, I can I like, say yeah, the first dilemma that we got yeah was uh, was someone saying that Kildjian is gay. That was my sister. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Why wrong, would that man. be a dilemma for her anyway? What the fuck? I'm so <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry, Ads, if I offended you. If you like, see, do your thing, you know, no, bro. Enjoy. No, no, no. I, enjoy. I, bro, we, we said in a we said in a previous episode. I I hate feet. I don't like feet at all. Mm. That's not I, 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 I hate must have got feet. He, yeah. he said, I, I hate, hate feet, feet, but my wife has to have good feet. <laughs> Still. Yeah, that's true. Because, I hate feet. do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel uh, like, yeah. yeah. Well, no, but, the thing is, but the thing is, this disgusting feet, no one wants to look at bad feet. Yeah, exactly. Wait, <laughs> why is the first thing to talk about feet? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, let's, I, let's, let's I don't know Let's I don't know why Kyojin was drawn to that one still. It's because I saw Ads' face, that's why. So, that's what <laughs> so you saw Ads' face and he thought of feet? Is what you're telling me? It's because it's, I can't stop thinking about toes. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a little bit offensive. A little bit offensive. A, AB's trying to say you look like a toe fam. Are you going to take that? <laughs> Listen, next question. <laughs> what do you mean by our lips are them if I couldn't? <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> 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 All right. Next question. Someone said, "My girl is always talking about her celebrity crush, and it annoys me." What kind of small yeah. penis having guy is this, man? Yeah. I don't think I it's like that it's deep. Not that deep. Yeah, it's not that yeah. deep. It's not that deep. But then also, you have to respect that everyone has their boundaries and things that they don't like. Yeah. So, for example, if someone tells you they don't like something, you should respect that and then you should go out of your way to maybe avoid doing something that irritates them, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know? I have, I have imagine a follow-up question saying, for that, though. Yeah. Now, go on, go on. No, but I'm saying, imagine someone says that there's a certain topic that scares them or something like that, but then you continue to post at it. Maybe it's something that maybe you shouldn't avoid, but you should be make a bit more cautious of. Mm. You know? Mm. I was gonna say, yeah, like you know, what's the difference between talking about celeb, like you know, a girl talking about a celebrity too much in their relationship, and a guy liking another girl's picture? Like, what is the difference between those two? Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying either one is right. There's no wrong. chance they would ever get with that celebrity. Is well, there the, any the chance, chance that I'm gonna, very, get, I'm gonna get with, with, with fucking Chantal? Yeah, Jeffrey, bro. bro, that's like, a no, celebrity. Maybe no Chantal. That's, that's a celebrity. like still a celebrity. No, but that's Insta buddies, isn't it? Girls get annoyed with you like an Insta buddies, like picture you're not going to get with them wait hold on yeah, if I you like an Insta buddy's yeah? picture or a celebrity's picture it's the same thing as having a celebrity would you, would you be annoyed yeah, if your if your man um liked like an Insta buddy's picture yeah i feel like it'd be very easy for me to say nah like i don't mind like i'd be so proud but I'd, I, deep down i'd be like what are you doing like I lower your you. gaze I but only you. from like a lower your gaze like gaze perspective yeah. you know because yeah. you know for me it's a very big put off <clears throat> it's a very big put off when like I see guys and they're like just watching different girls and stuff like that. Like that's me personally, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying if, but personally, like I wouldn't shout at somebody for something. I'd be like, if you want to do what you want to do, do what you want to do, but do it like far from me. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. If someone's serious about me, I'm thinking like, I wouldn't be able as, to take As in like seriously. do it behind your back? Yeah. You know I mean? Like, how would you feel if your girl was liking, I don't know, um... Listen, bro, we've grown up with it. You, don't, you, you think we hate Justin Bieber for no reason? It's because the girls kept talking about him too much, fam. There was no mm. other reason to hate him, do you know what I mean? Who's mm. we? I like Shut him. Up, man. <laughs> I like him now too, but, you know, back in the day, you had to hate on him mm. because the girls talked about him too much. Mm. I'm getting jealous. It's, it's, it's natural, isn't it? It's natural to get jealous. Um. Mm. So what, what are we thinking? Not a big deal or... I don't think it's not that deep, but if it's making someone feel it depends on the person. Yeah. yeah, it depends on your relationship, innit? You know, like if it annoys the other person, why would you continue doing it? Yeah. Mm. You obviously don't yeah. respect that relationship. I think it also depends on the extent of it, innit? Like if she's like got like 50 posters of the man and like talking to you about him every day, then it is it is a little bit weird. I mean, because then you know when you guys were saying it's different because you can't get with the celebrity, innit? 
Wouldn't yeah. that make the guy feel like she's only with me because she can't get with that guy because he's a celebrity? And yeah. isn't that kind of worse mentally? Do you know what I mean? Like, you could be like, oh, I could get all these girls, but I don't because I like you. Whereas the girl is like, I'm only with you because... Um, uh, no, nah, I think it's G, you're trying to do some English, yeah. like English. No, 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 no. I know you know what I mean. It's not that deep. I was thinking about it. He knows what I mean. Point evidence explained. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's not that deep. I know what you're bro. trying to say, but I don't agree with it. Nah, that's, that's how I see it. Like, if 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 someone like sat there and was like to me, yeah, like, oh, realistically, if that person was available, I wouldn't be with you. I think, what the hell? What's the point? Like, that's hella superficial, well, isn't it? That's not a celebrity well, crush. That's what, that's what celebrity crushes I like, though. You know, like, there's a lot of celebrities that could nab other people's relationships in two minutes, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if, like, it's very easy for, like, if someone's that easily led and you don't trust them, that's another situation. If you feel yeah. like they can be taken away from you, you shouldn't feel like this person can be taken away from you easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's that's you know? probably the, the impression that they give off, in it? Mm. You know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. I don't think it's well, that. I've got deep, no man. experience in this field, so I wouldn't know. I got, you know, can uh, I, I can I put experience. can I put a disclaimer? Can I put a disclaimer? Yeah. I just I just give relationship advice. I don't do relationships. I don't know nothing about relationships. I just give a lot <laughs> of relationship advice. So yeah. <laughs> That's A B as well. He's he's been a loner most of his life. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, man. It is what it is. Oh, wow. It well, is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, someone <clears> said, <throat> "I think my girl is talking to other guys. What shall I do?" Cut her off, man. What the hell? No, 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 no. But I can't, I, no, 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 no. More time, Did yeah. The man, the man is just insecure. He's probably just chatting shit, fam. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but the thing is, if if you're name, if you're well, if, you um, that, you're gone, if you've got that suspicion, you obviously don't trust that person. Why are you going to be in that relationship? You get me? Yeah? Mm. No, but I'm not but saying it's necessarily time, a problem with the at girl. At the same time, is she not single? So no, they're in a relationship. Oh, they're in a relationship. You say the girl that you're talking to, like the girl that he's talking to, or the girl that he's in a relationship with? Like his his girl. Okay, that's a bit different. Yeah. Yeah, it says my girl is talking to other guys. What should I do? Uh, he says I think my girl is talking to other guys. What should I do? But then you have no evidence. That sounds a bit like insecurity, and uh, maybe he has something to hide himself. That's what I'm saying. If you're that insecure, either there is there is a problem, and she is talking to other mm. guys, so you should cut her off, or you're not ready for a relationship, so you should cut her off. Yeah. Either way, yeah. you're not you, the relationship's not working. I think if mm. you don't know for sure, it's, it's a bit of an awkward one to ask, man. Like, I, it's not worth it. Unless you yeah. know for sure in it. If you have suspicions, then maybe you need to watch how you act around that person in it and test mm-hmm. uh, test them out a little bit in it. You know what you should do? Yeah. Whoever sent that in, DM us. We'll get AB to move to that girl. If she cheats, then you know. <laughs> if, what if the fuck? fuck? <laughs> you see, the, the thing you is have to AB's, take one for the team. <laughs> hold on, exactly. hold on. One second, yeah. I'll be honest. AB is a bit too peng though. She might cheat either way. So. Listen, yeah, exactly. Kaojin, Kaojin has more experience in sliding in guys' DMs than me. Fam. I don't slide in no one's DMs. I've never How about that? Money, uh, no, no, my, no. my child, from look, look, at, look, you're crumbling now. Bro. <laughs> Maybe you should take one for the team instead. Yeah, you should. Who, me, me or him? Huh? Me, me or Kirsten? Kirsten. 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 Oh. Yeah. Listen, if I DM her, <laughs> even if she's unfaithful, she's gonna block me straight away. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna look at my profile picture, and be like, nah, you today should... I'm faithful. <laughs> today I got low. <laughs> <laughs> you should believe in your source. Uh, wait, for the right time in it for the right time but I can't help these people out yeah so what do you guys think what should what should this brother do I think he's just call it a day if I'm, I can't lie I man. think I think I think if you've got so much insecurities like one day she's going to be tired if you keep telling her oh I'm going to talk to other guys talk to other guys one day she's going to yeah. get tired of you she actually will <laughs> yep, you know what I, I mean because no one wants to hear that <laughs> no but I'm saying no one wants to hear that all the time like especially like if you're serious about somebody yeah you don't want to. You don't want to hear. Oh, you're talking to other people. You're talking to other people. You're talking to other people. Like it just gets a bit. You know, it's just gonna create problems. Yeah, they're not built for a relationship, man. Yeah, I think most good. most people are not built for a relationship, man. They just yeah, get into it for I class agree, or so. for the I for agree. other I was, vibes. I was gonna say ads like most most dilemmas. Ads is gonna be like, yeah, you're not ready for a relationship. <laughs> get out of the relationship. It's true though. Most people aren't. <laughs> 
<laughs> we yeah. need to hire ads as like the relationship police, you know, just go around like, are you ready? <laughs> <clears throat> yep. All right. Uh, someone said, this one's a bit mad. What to do if a married woman wants you? Bro, you've got actually no, what, what can you do? Bro, you do your thing, fam. Fuck it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck a husband, man. Huh? As well. Oh, fuck a husband. No, as a not like that. Of course you will say that, you nonce. <laughs> you, you need to word your sentences. Be bro, better, bro. bro, listen, bud. You got to clock someone, man. Fuck it. <laughs> if, a married, if a married woman's on to you, bro, fuck it, man. You know what I'm saying? I think it depends. Home wrecker, man. It is what it is. It bro, is she, the home is already wrecked if she's on to you. <laughs> true. You, know true. you got a point. Yeah, you just got, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just got to got to push them over the edge, fam. At that point, you're not really homeworking. You're cleaning up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wise words. Make, make the kids some lunch. You know what I'm saying? Go to work. <laughs> Pat our husband on the head on the way out and just keep it moving, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So just, just like to say, we here at Titan Talk don't condone homewrecking. Uh, this is all for satire. It's all for comedy. Mm. If people might take us seriously. You know? I'm not joking, though, blood. <laughs> Yeah, he said I'm not joking. Yeah, they'd watch during the week. He'd be like, "Bro, can you please edit that out, please?" <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> on a on a serious level, yeah, I feel like I know it might be tempting. Yeah, to the person who sent this, in, it might be tempting. But at the end of the day, imagine if that was you, like you're married, and your wife is entertaining other guys. Like, do you know how peak that would be? Bro, then the, so then that, then it means that there's something wrong with you. What? No. Why are you victim you know what I'm blaming, saying? bro? No. Why? She could be a whore. You wife the whole fam. <laughs> but I feel like that's not something wrong with the person. It if someone's gonna cheat, to you, they're gonna fam. cheat. Yeah. If someone's yeah. gonna cheat, they're gonna cheat. You can't stop them. Exactly. You can't follow them all the time. And so you have to them. be with them, fam. <laughs> You'd have to blame yourself as well. Yeah, I think I mm. think whoever sent that in, the karma will get you. Your wife is not gonna love you. Do you know what I mean? So don't do it. Don't listen to the simp, man. Just do it, man. <laughs> do what you gotta do, but fuck it. And deal with the consequences later, man. Nah, there's and too the much, there's too you. much drama with that man. If the husband's onto you as well, if the husband's onto you, just shout at me. I back the beef. I'll insta a shake dot jp uh jp. <laughs> <laughs> I'll back the beef, fam. Right, moving on, yeah, because I just turned weird. Um, someone said I was messaging my ex girl and I got caught. What should I do? You idiot. What by who? His like current girl. Oh, he's oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> You gotta cover your tracks, man. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. What are you saying? You're gonna you're gonna say it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> whatever, whatever you saw, it was wrong. <laughs> yeah, right. you have to. You have to. You're gonna believe these yeah. texts over me? <laughs> over me? You're not the woman I thought you were. That is so toxic. That's another. How can you cheat and say? I'm gonna disappointing you. I'm gonna flip it on her. You want? <laughs> you know he sent a repo. He sent a repo guy to to a, to a, to a crib. You know to get back that Bentley yeah, that he gifted her. No yeah. way. Yeah. Oh yeah. This guy, man. <laughs> Did you I guys did you guys try that thing, you know, that where you send like the snowflake uh, thing? You saw I see I'm a glacier boy. And the noodle. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I got no one to send that to, bro. Yeah. Same, same, same. Send it to me. <laughs> yeah, probably. probably yeah. Sure. <laughs> My DMs are open for you. But yeah. <laughs> Is there something going on here that we're all missing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, AB is just onto me in it. I can't help it. <laughs> Is the smile, man? I forgot the question. It's a smile for you me. <laughs> is the um, <clears throat> he got caught lacking? Yeah, messaging your ex girl and getting caught. Uh, Rahma, how would you react in that situation? Like, if you're if you're a man, what if I caught someone? If I caught someone cheating? Not cheating though. Messaging the ex girl. That's cheating, man. That's you can't be putting words in her mouth, man. Let her say herself. No, but that is cheating. Like, what are you doing? It depends what the message was. Fuck that. Maybe bro, it's, it's cheap. No, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. Wait, wait, sorry. Sorry. If the He's message was me, I can't <laughs> lie. <laughs> if the message was sorry, if the message was like she messaged him and he didn't respond or he no. blocked her. If no, it's no, a no, full on no. conversation, the no, but then he's what do you need to have her? a no the, the thing is that think... he got he got caught messaging her, do you get it? Yeah, what are you messaging her about? What can I do at this point? I said do your do your do your thing, I'm not involved. What if it why was like innocent? Like, why am I like, gonna stress? What's the weather like? 
there's no innocence there. Why am I going to stress Why, myself? Yeah, out? you can ask anyone else for the weather, man. Why do you need to chat <laughs> exactly. to this person? Um, you would ask someone <laughs> for the weather. What, what, what kind of retardedness <laughs> is this? Obviously, I was just like a random, like, one in it. I just meant like, mm. if it was like a casual conversation. There's no casual conversations to be had. I'm he, sorry. Bro, I cannot come and kill myself. Uh, what about a f- follow up? Yeah. What if your man was still friends with his ex? That car run. Man. Oh, sorry. I don't have a man. <laughs> that's, that's for you. <laughs> that's not for me. <laughs> so, so that's not my you, man. man. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Not with me. <laughs> okay. So basically, I don't know how I would, um, I don't know how I would navigate that situation. Um, I don't know. What can I say? I feel like it always goes to that 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 word, yeah. But are there any icks for you? Like something that no one else really takes seriously. But if you saw a man doing that, you'd be like, uh, uh. Uh, I don't know. I have a lot of icks. A lot. Uh, <laughs> we got we got time. <laughs> huh? We got time. <laughs> we got time. <laughs> I don't really. I don't. I don't really talk to guys. So most of the things that no offense to all men, but uh, most things that guys do give you the ick. Like breathing. My 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 biggest it could don't be shocked. Don't be surprised. My biggest it is being moved to. Being what? Being, being moved, moved to. Yeah. Being rude. When so some, if a guy approaches no, you. Yeah. It's, oh. Oh, it's a big okay. it for me. Once somebody approaches me, I'm like, yeah. So you would have to approach the guy? No. <laughs> That's even worse. So is this <laughs> how, does that, what, is or how, how does that How does it happen? I actually, I you don't got a whole professor exercise to pattern you guys up or something, bud. <laughs> I don't know how it works. I mean, I wouldn't be I surprised because people are coming up to you like, oh, yeah, your feet. Do you know what I mean? I would have the egg too if someone was coming to me saying, your feet. <laughs> no, that's not again? a regular occurrence. That's not a regular occurrence. Although someone did ask me to send them my day. Someone did ask me for my socks once. Oh, huh? where, where are you meeting? Wait, is it, is, it, is it for money? <laughs> No, yeah, someone asked me, to, someone emailed me asking for my stock. Well, you should have chosen like two bags and, and yeah, you can have it. Yeah, I would do And that. they asked me, they asked me if I could also send them a video of myself wearing the stock that I would be sending to them. Like dirty, they wanted my, they didn't want brand new socks. They said they wanted some like used socks. It was very weird. Well, you should have done that, man. If well, there's No any... one else would ever know. no. <laughs> No, any... that's so weird. Wait, as in like no, they just no, said no. you should have asked for their dress and just hotted them up, man. Send them a like a pile <laughs> of shit or something. <laughs> anyway, yeah, moving on. Weird. All right. Why are we why are we keep talking Maybe about feet? Swiftly along. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, next one, next one. Uh right, next one says, uh, uh this is this is a bit of a jarring question. I hear because it always comes up. Let's here. move away from the feet topic, please. <laughs> this one comes up quite a lot. It says, uh is paying for women uh, a man's obligation? Paying for women? Yeah. As in, like, on a date? Yeah, not, like, prostitution. Like, yeah, like <laughs> on a date. Whoa. <laughs> no no one else thought that apart from you. No, but... As Where in, did that's your what you mind were saying, go? When you, when you asked that question, that's what you were thinking. Of, like, I, I, I didn't say it. What he was I didn't say it. I was, listen, I was just listen, clarifying listen. the point. And I was clarifying that it wasn't dying. <laughs> You're I mean, clarifying paying for women? <laughs> So we're talking I about paying for this. Is it the? Uh, yeah, I think it is too. But yeah, chivalry, man. I said this before, yeah. But at least offer to pay, so just for my own like sense, to, uh, just for my own you know? peace of mind. <laughs> I just don't start, even. I don't feel like I'm getting finessed. Sometimes, sometimes it'll be just pretend like, oh, where's my wallet? Like, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, 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 just pretend. Like, you, you, just know, just, be, you just want to be, just want to pretend. <laughs> yeah, just pretend. Like, get them out there. If you're listening to this, yeah, at okay, least I pretend. think I left it in here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, for real. Just pretend, or even lie. Be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'll get you next time. And next time might not ever come, but just at least pretend, man. I don't think you even need to do that, honestly. No, just nah, for my own peace of mind. For bro. what just reason? I don't feel like this guy's a matter, matter of principle, isn't it? Like, like, just like, just you know, appear rude. Nah, man. I'll, I'll feel very. I awkward. cannot find my wallet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I, you, can't, you can't have someone sitting there expecting it, like just uh, at least offering it. And obviously, I'm gonna say no, I'll pay, it's calm, but I like, just offer mm. it. Yeah, I, I don't know why people want that. It's not that deep, but I can't, like, I'll be, I'll be if very you... put off if she expects me to pay. Like, do you get me? Like, yeah. like, oh, like that, that's 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 she a... doesn't even flinch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get me? Mm. Like, mm. but 
I'll, I'll, I'll still pay, but it's it's quite. Do you get me? It's a bit. It's a bit. It's a bit shaky, man. I feel like in America they have this weird trend of like if you go out with your girl and her friends are there. Yeah. Apparently they expect the guy to pay for everyone, like the, her friends as well. You know, I've heard of stories where like girls will like bring their female friends in just for the sake of the motive, like they're not even interested in the guy. Like a free dinner, basically. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's a bum behavior. I can't lie. I can't Ooh. lie. I know a couple of men. I know a couple of men that fell for that store. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna name names. I mean, bro, but fuck it, man. L- listen, whoever, whether it's a gal getting finessed or a man getting finessed, yeah, if you if you're dumb enough to get finessed, it's your it's your elf, You gotta hold it, man. And it's wait, you know. You- you know when you like say as, you, as long as you, you take it as a lesson. Yeah, it's props to the it's a finesse fam. Do you get me? They done their thing. They said you you're expected to ask. Is that like when you're getting to know somebody and you're going on this, or when you're in a proper relationship? When you're getting Evil. to know someone. Evil. Evil. Okay, because I'm talking about when you're in a proper relationship. Like I don't think they need to ask. You just pay. Yeah, that's yeah, a bit, yeah, that's a bit different, isn't it? I that's agree with different. that. Okay, that, that's what I was talking about. But yeah, even then, uh, early doors, you still you still expect someone to offer at least early doors, isn't it? Once you're settled and like, oh yeah, this is my wifey, that's different. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Then she I can hold a couple, man can I hold a couple. I think that's what I was talking about still. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one kind of killed me. Yeah. Someone said, my girl's got shit creps. Help me. <laughs> yeah, that is a deal. This is like, still. buy her new shoes. Bro, that's what I'm saying. But you got, 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 why are you complaining? If you don't want to look at them, change it. How can you complain about something that you're not going to change? Listen, Rahma, it's not it's you not know? our responsibility to fix women out here, you know. <laughs> shoes we're not expensive. here to, we're not here to fix women. They don't fix new shoes, new nails. <laughs> I, I I think that's never. one thing that I never do, you know, is pay for like what? a girl's nails, fam. Why not? I don't think I can. I don't know, fam. Maybe like if maybe if well, I'm in a relationship, she's like, yo, I beg you, let me like I don't know what was like a bill or something. I don't know how much it is. Yeah. What the how much does it cost? It depends where you go, but like plain the lowest, the lowest is probably twenty to twenty-five. Some places in Central do a bit more expensive, but then I think it depends how extravagant she goes with the nails. But I feel like most people go for like basic acrylic sets. They're like twenty, twenty-five, sometimes thirty. Depends where you go. I would only do that to man's wife, bro. If I'm if I'm talking to you and you're telling me, yo, I beg you pay for my nails, be like, bro. Yeah, I definitely. I think that. I think that's like a. Like a marriage thing in it, like when you, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. You just send her money, be like, go, go get your nails done. Yeah. Bro, see that's the nails wife, done. Wife, done. That's for wife. If you're, if nails you're, if done, you're, hair done, everything. Yeah, that's for wife. And if you're a client, then no. Uh, <laughs> a client. client. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm, joking. I, I, I'm saying these things just for entertainment purposes. I have, my He's phone lying. is dry. My phone He's is lying. Oh my God. He's lying. This guy's a fiend. If I, if I show lying. you my phone, man. He's lying. Uh, but mm. I forgot what question it was. No, it was a my girl got shit crepes. Oh shit! <laughs> <I don't see> <laughs> Would that be an issue for you guys? If that's I... slightly a trend though now nowadays, no? Like having beat air forces and shit. Like I see bare, so bare people wearing it. Right, only with shortage gal. It's not like I, I don't I've think it's attractive, not at all. Yeah, I think I you gotta have good shoes, man. Yeah. Crepes. No, I mean, I, I wouldn't pay though. I agree. Yeah, I pay enough for my own shoes. I mean. <laughs> that's true with the with the girl not being able to, like if she had like shit fashion sense would that be jarring for you but no I'd tell her what to get and you can change yeah yeah you can change that why are you changing yeah, yeah I'm not trying to change you, anyone innit? you don't like her the way but then again it is influencing someone and then there's changing someone you can't just buy some I don't say buy somebody sorry you can't just get somebody and then just expect them to buy new stuff and turn them into like a yeah. whole new person. Yeah. No, you know? no, but that's the thing. Though. No, no, no. Because you can like someone there. Change. You can like someone there, but they can just have dead. They yeah. can't. They can't dress in it. You get me? And you could be like, "Yo, listen, I'm about. Yeah. I'm gonna copy a few hoodies or whatever. <laughs> you get me a few crepes. Mm. Just mix it up. You get me? Try influence the fashion. <laughs> there you go. Fam. Mix and match. <laughs> this is your option. Huh? Yeah, mm. I wouldn't force them, but. Do you know what I mean? Nah, man. I feel like it would be an issue for me because I would look at them thinking... But then again, what if she's happy with her fashion? What if she's like, well, yeah. this is me? Because, you know, it's it's twenty, it's 2021. Everyone has a, a unique fashion sense. And I feel like, especially like with this generation, like a lot of people are saying, forget what everyone else is wearing. I'm going to wear what I like, what I enjoy wearing. This is my style. Mm-hmm. 
So what if you just didn't like her style? Then what? Well, like, is style really a big deal? Like, so is, is, is style the most important? Like, is what she looks like the most important? What happens to what's on the inside count? Nah, that was never a thing. Why are you guys no, all styling? It was the other way around. No, no, no. no, no. no. It was the other way around. Yeah. Important. If someone, yeah, if someone was wearing beat shoes and you stuff, know what I'm saying, that would that would be a deal breaker you know for some saying? people. Yeah, that's true. But um, you know what I mean, it's double standard, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess it'd be a deal breaker for me too, but not on an extreme level. But not on an extreme level. Not on an extreme level, like. I think only initially, innit? Like, I probably wouldn't try and get to know someone who had dead fashion sense. But if I already knew them, then it wouldn't be a problem. You know what I mean? But yeah, anyway, moving on. <laughs> moving on, yeah. So if, if your crypt game is dead and you want to go out of AB, yeah, you got to fix up. Wait, wait, listen. There's another guy in this pod, you know? <laughs> there's there's another two. There's another two. What are you talking about? Sorry. Kale just gay, so it's okay. <laughs> So, um, right, let's I'm let's sorry, let's, um, let's assume that I was. I apologize. Yeah? I apologize for assuming your gender. Let's let's assume <laughs> let's assume I was gay. Yeah? Why would that make me less of a man? She said. I didn't. This, I didn't this, say. Yeah. I didn't she say said it, there's it, two yeah. other men, and you said no. Kyojin's gay. Yeah. Huh? Cancelled twice. So, yeah, listen, bro. I think yeah, being gay is one of the most manly shit ever, fam. So why did you say? <laughs> It's, it, you're you're lost, bro. Wait, explain that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, th- there's God. a few more here. I'll explain the off air. Okay, is I get you, you know. Uh, but actually, I, I understand what you're talking about, you know. Because if you want to be truly pro man, you can't be fucking with the enemy. Do you know what I mean? But I'm not gay, by the way. <clears throat> what the fuck? I, that's not even what I was gonna say. But anyway, I'm involved in this I'm, conversation. I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna edit out the part where he's like, "That's not what I was gonna say." I'm just gonna put, whatever he said. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna edit that in. Uh, <laughs> all right, cool. Someone said, every time I talk to a new girl, or this could be guy, I can't help but compare them to my ex. Oof. That's a little bit toxic. But then again, what if the person can't help it? Mm. Bro, if they're your ex for a reason. <laughs> Something didn't work out, <laughs> innit? What if the other person can't help it? Like, it's not that deep. Why, why are you guys dying? Wait. What happened? <laughs> that thing where you just said, that's a little bit toxic. That should be a me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit toxic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I agree, though. I think sometimes you might not be able to help it. You know, like it might just be. It might not be in a bad way. It might be in a good way. Like yeah. maybe she set the standards or something. Like, yeah, yeah. like that was so. Like that was that was so bad. Like this is, you know. I mean, I don't feel like it even has to be. It might be like oh. They were your ex it might be in a good way out. or a bad way. Yeah, yeah. You might just think like, oh, because I've had it good, I don't want to settle for mm. less in the future, innit? I don't think there's anything wrong mm. with that. No. Yeah. Mm. Oh, he's just a simp and he can't get over his ex. Could be. Could be. Do you get me? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta get over it. She gone. Yeah. She packed <laughs> her bags. She said to the left, to the left. She said, I don't want no scrub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone said opinions on marrying outside of your culture. I think, I think that's wrong with it. That's that's wrong with it. But I'll be honest: if your parents aren't like, if your parents won't have it, and um, it's gonna be like a deal breaker for you. Like, if see that some people they can't stand up against the parents or whatever, <laughs> then you shouldn't even bother dating outside of the thing. I was just wasting yeah. each other's time in it. So yeah. It's hurtful as well, man. That's what I'm saying exactly. So if you're willing for the that's go so that's obviously man and woman, isn't it? Um, mm-hmm. If you're if you're willing to be with your parents, then obviously do your thing. Do you get me? Yeah. yeah, man. But I think I think that's some G shit, man. You've got experience of a culture. But to be honest, I think I think it's not right when people lead because there's 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 situations where sometimes people lead people along knowing that they're never gonna marry them. They're never gonna bring them to their family. They're yeah, just yeah. dating them. Like for the for their for their own pleasure, but they yeah. know that in the long run they just want to hurt this person. I think that's not right. Yeah. I think if you're gonna go for someone that's outside, you should be sure, you know. Yeah. And even and even if like maybe your family don't accept it right away, you you should be persistent. Some people they don't even try. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I, I don't know how people can do that. You know, that's, that's quite facts. hurtful. I don't know how people can you know date people that they don't see marrying because I feel like for me. If I'm not fully in love with them, yeah, I can't even look at them. I can't talk mm. to them for the more than two days, bro. Like, mm. I feel disgusted. 
Well, cool. you guys, what if yeah, you guys yeah, brought like I fell in love with someone um that's outside your um culture yeah, mm-hmm. and like obviously you get serious yeah, you talk to your parents. Open question by the way. Oh, talk to your parents yeah, and they're like, nah, like we ain't having it. Would you would you stick up for it or do you stick up for the name of love? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Is your parents' uh, word final? I feel like if I was in that situation and I was serious, serious, I would respect, I would respect what my parents have to say, but I would, if it's something that I wanted, I would not give up on it easily. Mm. I would be persistent because there are cases where people are persistent and then they do break through to their family. Mm. But it depends what the family's like as well because there's also people that marry into families where the families don't accept them. And then in the long run, that creates yeah. issues and yeah. that can also lead to their downfalls. So say if their in-laws don't like them or if there's family drama. That's fact. Yeah, that's tough, man. I can't lie, bro. If that happened to me, fam, I'm like, blood, this is the day of the wedding. You have a come or you don't, fam. I have a way, fam. I'm, I'm gravy, bro. Mm. Do you hear me? If you don't come, there's extra food. Do you get me? Mm. If you I don't know, man. I feel like family is more important. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But if it's important, surely they should respect you as a person and as an individual. No, but they're, they're they not... who you love, innit? They're not necessarily saying it just out of the blue, innit? They, there must be some reason why they... I'll be honest, I can't think of one good reason why anyone would say no to a person that your kid loves. Like, do you know what I'm saying? It's difficult. Like, maybe two they don't different cultures. It. it is difficult. It's Like, it's cool, bruv. At the end of the day, fam, yeah, the, it's your kid that's marrying. Like, is I'm not... Like, say if my youth came up to me, yeah, yeah. Wait, no, that's 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 not what I was gonna say. Like, if my parents yeah had the problem with who I was gonna marry, I'd be like, bro, are you getting married to this girl? Or am I, fam? You know what I'm saying? No, but it, no, no, no. You you're getting married into the family. Who? Whoever you're whoever you're marrying is getting married into your family, and yeah, you're getting married saying, into their like, family. Bro, if this to be honest, I don't have this issue because my parents gave up gave up gave up with me a long time ago. So you know what I'm saying? So yeah. they you know they have no influence on what who I marry. Yeah? But I'm just saying hypothetically. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Fam, and if you have a problem with my wife, fam, got a problem with AB, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Ads, don't worry. When I marry you, you're all great. At, at, <laughs> at the same time, I, I do get where you're coming from because family <laughs> because family is very important because if you marry someone, you, you, you're you right. What you said, you're marrying their family. You're gonna spend, yeah. You want to spend time with their family. You don't want to spend time with people that are rude towards you because that's going to hurt you as well, you know? I agree. Yeah. I agree. I, no, I agree still, but I just, it's like, it's same as AB though. It depends. I, I don't have this it, issue it, it depends it. on like, the family. Yeah. It depends on the family. You know, like, a spin off from that, yeah. You know, you guys are saying like family is important. You're married to the family, yeah. This yeah. is going to sound mad, but for me, sometimes when I'm getting to know a girl, yeah, it kind of annoys me when they're not close to their family because I have like a, this idea of like when I'm older, yeah. I'm going to have like big mm. Eid parties and like big family oh, exactly. dinners and stuff like that. And if they're not close mm. to their family, if they don't have a big family, I feel kind of like, I don't yeah. know if I want to. I don't know if yeah, I want to marry your family. I want a homely person. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 Big I, mean? I want people that are going to go see their family, and I can see their family. We get to know them and yeah. expand my family, not just one person. Right? Yeah. yeah. I agree. I think yeah. we're all in agreement there. Yeah, but you know, you're yeah. saying AB, you would all you in just agreement. get married and told them to like come in it. Sorry. You would just marry them and like you you set the wedding date and then just tell your family just come. I don't think I could do that until like my parents were. <laughs> what are you guys there. doing this summer? No, I'm joking. I said that. No, <laughs> I'm just. Plans I, now. <laughs> I just said that. I just said that. Do you get me? But it's I'll convince them. At the end of the day, if I'm I know if I want to marry someone, I'm marrying them. Do you get me? Yeah. Like, like I'll not, spend my I'm time gonna... convincing them. But yeah, I'll yeah, still yeah. wait for their approval. Do you know what I mean? There's no way I can get married without my parents. At the end of the day, I know I'm gonna get their approval, whether they like it or not. Yeah. They're gonna approve it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but whether bro, they yeah, like it or not. Sorry. So let's you end up marrying them, but th- your family not liking them. That's gonna that's gonna put a big strain on your bro. They better they better act accordingly, fam. No, no, but I'm saying that the girl will feel some type of way, and that's gonna put a strain it's in the relationship. It's, 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 a, bit problems, lo- it's a bit lonely. It's a bit lonely. Yeah, exactly. Because I feel like if I got married, I'd want like their siblings to be like my siblings. Yeah, it's I not think really it's, the siblings. I'd want. Though, I'd, want really... I'd want. What do you mean? Wait, what do like, you say? Siblings don't really have like. Any issues with who like who they who like? Yeah, but yeah, but I'm saying like I'd want to be I'd want I'd want to be comfortable around their whole family. I was gonna say I want their siblings to be my siblings. I want their mum to have a relationship with me, like I have a relationship with my mum. Obviously, it won't be the same, but I want it to be like that kind of closeness. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. That's that's the like the ideal situation. 
Do you get me? But we're not talking about we're talking about the opposite. Do you get it? But would you if sacrifice that is, if, all if of that, that just works. to go for just to go for that special person? I don't think what you do you should. mean. So what you're gonna marry? So you're gonna really marry? Tough. So you're gonna spend? So you spend time to oh. get to know another person, building a relationship with another person to find out yeah, like, right. if she there's a chance that there's a special there's if she's special or not. Bro, that's you long guys think this is, There's plenty you of fish in the sea, man. Cushy, bro. Cushy, that's long, bro, but there's no time, fam. Uh-huh. There's no time no, for that shit, there's, bro. There's plenty of time. Bro, I, I don't like the narrative married, of like then put a strain on my That's me personally, because uh, I wanna have a kid. I wanna have a kid by the time I'm 28, and I'm not getting any younger, fam. You know what I'm saying? 28, 29. When I was in high school, I used to say, <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get married when I'm 21, this and that. I'm have kids. But when you come <laughs> out of uni, you're gonna be married. Oh, that's what that's what we used to think, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We wasted our prime years, bro. Trust me. I used, just, I like, used to say the cheesy. opposite. Well, 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 don't say that. You should, you should never ever lower your standards. I think, I think it's, it's getting time to lower. There's a lot of fish. Man. Hell just standards on the, are in hell right nah. now, anyway. So, <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, no. Wait, I, wait, my standards wait. are way too high. My standards there's so much, high. there's so much fish in the sea. You know, yeah, so that I agree. Like from Bangladesh. <laughs> I mean, if, if you want to go abroad, there's fish there too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I I agree with ads. You know, I don't think I would fight for them, but there's like I've lived with my family too long to just like cut them off. Yeah. You know what I mean, there's a limit in it. You're sacrificing you the relationship no with one. bro. You're sacrificing the relationship with however however many people in your family. Let's say five, six, seven people mm. to to maintain a relationship with one person. I don't get the the, the point. But I don't know. In my head, I, I I can't think of one good reason why a family won't accept someone. Do you know what I'm saying? If it's if it, if you're like it if doesn't you, matter. If you're like a bum, no. If you're like a bum and like you got you got nothing to bring to the table, cool. I hear yeah. that. Isn't it? I hear that. Yeah. If you're mm-hmm. a bum anyway, you shouldn't be in a relationship. That's but that's like that's 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 facts. That's common knowledge. Yeah. But if you're, if, close, you're if you're doing if you're doing yeah, all right, that's, like that's you it. if you're doing all right, you could financially like support the family or whatever. Yeah. And the parents are like, nah, like fuck this done, yeah, because he's from whatever. Bro, that's mm. that's, I, that, a that's, that's, that's yeah, but that's 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 so dumb, fam. That's so. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't agree. I still think families like it comes. To, it, I think you you can yeah. like push for it, but it comes to a certain point where you gotta be realistic and say, okay, I'm so not gonna your sacrifice. Parents, your parents, your parents, yeah. were the final. I feel like I would. I would push yeah. for it, but I feel like my family is up here, and I wouldn't like sacrifice yeah. what I have with my family. You know, I wouldn't 100. push it to the point where I've sacrificed what I have with mm. your family. 100. I think 100. we we just we just gotta make the one that it never comes to that situation. You know? Yeah, yeah. go yeah, smoothly and that. By the uh, way, this none of this applies to me. By the way, yeah? I'm I'm just saying my my family. Why are you gravy. talking about a- this? Man. My man man Everyone, no, bro, <laughs> no, bro, you might know, bro, you might know, man. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Alhamdulillah, everyone's. I think everyone's family is cool. Yeah. As his family, obviously, they they set they set the standards. I'm chilling, man. <laughs> yeah, for real. Your pops is a G, you know. I can't lie, man. Um, I'm chilling. Next one says, "My wife forgot my birthday two years in a row." And, like, but what's a birthday it? really? What's a birthday sadly. really? Yeah. Birthdays are haram. It's just another day, you know. You, you don't know if a Muslim <laughs> sent this. It was a Muslim who said that. Yeah, they might be Adan, bro. You never know. Like, might... oh, okay then. To be honest, like birthdays are not something that people forget. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Like, do you guys forget people's it's, birthdays? So you're I saying if birthday, someone was, you saying she yeah, purposely somebody forgot was... it? Yeah, but then it depends how close you are. I think it's just like the you know the, with the celebrity thing. Yeah. If it's some of that's my important best to you, friends, some of my best friends, I forget their birthday. Bro, I like, I'm gonna lie, I couldn't I couldn't tell you when Kyojin your birthday is or AB when your birthday is. Like, I, I, know, I know when your birthday is. I know when your birthday is as well. Fifth of June. Okay, you do, but let's come on. Come on. AB AB is six of February. Along. Stop trying to suck him off just because he lost the quiz. AB is six of February as well. Come on, come what on. I was come gonna on. say is. Like, I'm sorry, so in, that, in that in that scenario, I could have been so, left out now. Yours because... is April August. April August, exactly. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> April, April August. August. <laughs> that's eighth of that's August. Exactly. Oh, eighth of August. Yeah, that's the date. That's the exact date of my birthday. That's, yeah. it's, it's it's July. Yeah. Thank this you. This guy's a Sid. How do you know? <laughs> that, is is it July? Or is it either July or yeah. October? Yeah. Yes, yeah, July. July. Oh shit! I was close. No, you were. You said April, I August, fam. I said April, August. You funny. Two different months. My birthday, my birthday is not in July or October. When is it? 
It's in January. January, oh. January 1st? Nah, not even. Oh, okay. Right. It's uh, January 2nd. The, the what? 22nd, January 22nd. 22nd. Oh, we said January the 2nd. <laughs> okay, what I was going to say is, yeah. in that scenario that was sent in, yeah. I feel like just because you hold birthdays as a special day, I don't think you should expect other yeah, people to yeah. hold it as a special day. It may not mean anything to them, so why should yeah. you expect them to remember it? Yeah. Not if you hold it then as your partner, do you know what I mean? If it's anything that is important to you, your partner should at least know about it, do you know what I mean? So they should know that it's important to you. Not necessarily. Yeah, but then you should voice that. You should let that be known. You know? Yeah, yeah. You forgot my birthday this year. Don't let it happen again. I don't what think if, you can blame someone for what if in that scenario, like that, yeah. But the, no, the, but I, I think I think it's not that deep. But if it's deep to you, then just let it be known. Yeah. Yeah. What if in that scenario? If something important. No, no, no. Let, let me be honest there. I can't lie. If my partner, yeah. Forgot so, and obviously, if it was over two years, surely they've been at least together for minimum of two years. Yeah, mm. yeah. If my part, if someone was with forgot my birthday twice, I can't like I'll, I'll feel kind of hurt, fam. I don't care about birthdays anyway, but bro, bro, what if they just that's one's birthday? At least say happy birthday, fam. I don't expect what if they don't. What if in their they don't hold birthdays as anything, like it's just a normal day to them, even oh, with their birthday, family. It's, you know what? <laughs> it's, just, it's not their birthday, it's mine. <laughs> Yeah, but, nah, it's my day. I don't, I don't care. I'm just saying I don't care about it, but I'll be like, yo, bro, like come on, man. No, but you um, should you should you should say it like um, you know a lot of people they expect whoever they're talking to, not even who they're talking to, like even within friendships and stuff like that, they just expect other people to be psychic. They just expect people yeah. to know how's anybody gonna know if you don't tell them? Yeah. If you say I love birthdays, my birthday's <laughs> coming up, my birthday's tomorrow, like yeah, I, like I wanna do so I want something so special for my birthday, you have to voice it. If you don't voice that, how can you expect someone to be psychic and be, expect them to be psychic two, two years in a row? Yeah, for real. Yeah. I can't lie. The second year, yeah, it's cheeky, fam. I can't lie. Because surely, <laughs> surely the first year, they should have clocked that this is the day. The second year is very cheeky, fam. Maybe you should speak to them. Maybe they're just traumatized. Something happened to them in their childhood. They hate birthdays, you know, birthdays are, you know? Yeah. Like, maybe there's a good reason. They may, they maybe they got a KFC family bucket for their birthday one year. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I, I would think, I would not even maybe they've got links Africa. Africa. Oh yeah, oh my done. god. <laughs> I mean we already know that girls are shit getting kissed. What, what, anyway, were, you, so. what were you gonna say? Who? It depends. It depends, it depends, you know, not all girls. I think you're you're actually very good at giving gifts. You give very good thoughtful gifts. Who me? No, 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 Kirjan. I was like, like who's been talking about you? <laughs> no, Kirjan, I think you're I think you're quite good with gifts. I'm trying like, to think when have you seen me give a you. give a gift? <clears throat> MH left some advice for you for you guys. He yeah. said if you if she's watching your pockets, tell her adios. Thanks. Uh he said, argument advice. Let her say her shit. Then if she don't let you speak, then leave her. <laughs> Huh? Why, is, why does everything boil down to leave it? We <laughs> <laughs> have like an MH corner, you know, just bring him on and be like, MH, what do you think about this? Hello? If she wants your money, leave. No. She's talking too much, leave. The next she's breathing, says, get out of there. Leave. He said, he said, I need to know that I can build with you, otherwise there ain't no point wasting time. That's facts. I think I said that in the, in the yeah, previous that's, podcast. That's, that's facts. Yeah, yeah. I can't be dating a bum, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Before I was dying, yeah. <laughs> Because I was like, that's classism. Yeah, I was like, that's bummism. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, slowly dying in the corner. We're respecting bums here, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is a safe space for bums. Equality uh, for all bums. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you laugh like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? All right, all right. So the next question is: Yeah, could you be with someone who your friend has dealt with? No. Nah. 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 Right, hear me out, yeah. Nah. I think that's a very, very easy one to answer. That's oops. Only if I was a demon in it. I'm not in it. I'm looking to settle down. But if I was a demon, and somebody else dealt with them, like just dealt with them, that it wasn't a relationship, then. You know, I would talk to the guy in it, but I'm not a demon, so I wouldn't. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm not looking for that. You know, no, but you know, why would guys, you say? But you why know, would you say that if I was a demon? A lot of guys would be surprised about how 
their friends talk to girls that listen, they've listen. spoken to. Rahman, let me tell you something. I right know now. sometimes I know sometimes guys communicate it. I know some guys guys. It's a free it's ball. Like, it's an you. <laughs> no, but no, We're but, setting our brother no, but at the same time, at the same time, at the same time, a lot of guys are very sneaky. Some people do communicate. It depends what kind of guy it is, but also some guys are very sneaky. Because I've seen people be yeah. in like full blown like situations, and then later on their their friends are just a bit cheeky. I know. But is that really your friend? I know. Because it's not guys, always yeah. a free ball. Now go on, go on. No, I'm definitely. I'm oh, so, 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 yeah. yeah. So I was gonna say, I, like a lot of the times, it's a free ball and it's a it's an alley oop. We've communicated with our boy and we're mm. setting them up in it. But yeah. Um, <laughs> mm. Sometimes I'm not gonna lie, there are some guys yeah, with no source yeah. Do you know what they do? They they mm. it's, it's it's those guys that know all the gossip and all the drama, yeah. And they'll like after you mm. you've spoken to a girl and you've rejected the girl, they'll be there to pick up the pieces and be like, Oh yeah, yeah, mm. that person's a, that person's kinda kinda shit in it, like the way he treats you <laughs> kind of shit. Bro, I, I can name names right now, yeah. There are people like that, yeah. yeah. And we all know them as well. Yeah. They will, they're flying. So they'll yeah, that that's true. That's you need to true. name and shame right now. Right, I'm, we're gonna bleep this out, yeah. I mean, the game is the game, like, but I do yeah. see what you're saying about that free ball thing, because yeah. I've seen that as well. Because I feel like personally, I've I feel like I've I've experienced that like before in the past, where like I would say I would say no to somebody, but then their their friends will try and like the same thing as well. Yeah, that is a bit scummy still. Yeah, man. And that's why men are very scary. Men are very, very scary. You say uh, scary. You guys seem very quiet. Is this what you guys did, do? Did he say scary? <laughs> yeah. I don't identify as a man. <laughs> oh, I don't worry. I wasn't talking to you. I respect <laughs> your um, I respect your gender. Thanks. I'm quiet because I'm thinking uh, because I know a couple stories like that, but I yeah, I same. never I don't I don't I do don't. Know I don't I don't I do don't that. I don't know anybody like that. I, I don't or do if I they are like that. that. I just I don't know the story. It's too much work, fam. Yeah. To be honest, sometimes there's, there's simple ones in it where, where, like, let's say you're following a girl on Insta and then your boy will randomly message you, like, oh, do you talk to this girl? Because I know it's, you're the only one who follows her. Is it cool that I talk to mm. her? And you'll be like, yeah, I don't talk to her like that. You can talk to her. It's cool. You know what I mean? Has that happened to you? Yeah, many, many times. Like, so, loads of different guys and loads of different girls. Do you know what I mean? And obviously, a lot of the time, I'm not talking to the girls. Wait, wait, like, yeah, wait, did it say it happened with loads of different girls? <laughs> Yeah, as in like, as in like, you talking to? as in like, so, no, each as scenario in the girl, is a different girl. Like a guy would ask. Yeah, me. do you know what I mean it's not the same girl every time? Don't try like, it. Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so it's it's it's. I think it's <laughs> unanimous in it. We won't deal with someone our friend dealt with. Uh, yeah. No, absolutely not. Absolutely. What if your partner has cheated then on some someone people else before do. you? Oh, sorry. Go on. Huh? Uh, as in, like, some people do like they. They go, they get with people that their friends have, or something like that, and then That's they awesome. end up living the rest of, and they end up living the rest of their lives. You know. Can you imagine that you come to the mandem, yeah, and you're like, oh yeah, my girl makes a banger lasagna, yo, and my brother's like, yeah, I know she does. <laughs> Bro, I'd have to beef him right there, you know. Are you dumb? Even, even as the ex, I would feel some type of make way sure he never eats a lasagna you know, again. I'm saying, bro, I, I, I won't eat no Italian food, bro. <laughs> I don't think I would rate my boy as well if there was no communication with me. And like he went out with like the ex that I was serious with, I wouldn't rate him no more, you know, because at least have that conversation with me, bro. Do you know what I mean? If he knew it was serious, and yeah. like, mm. bro, this is why I don't That's do relationships, true. man. It's like yeah, shit, you know, like there's so much drama, you know man. You know what I'm saying, man? Mm. Uh, every, every time, it's just easy to avoid it altogether. All right, this next one what says, what say? if... what? You're right, I, I agree with you with, on that one. No, I was gonna yeah. say like every time I add to something innocent, yeah, maybe he's like, yeah, 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 me too, me too. Like, don't don't try to co-sign his innocentness, bro. Innocence. <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> you demon. Bro. This guy. No, man, he right? was just he was just saying how relationships we shouldn't just do relationships. Yeah, man, don't do relationships, man. Worth it. Uh, I yeah, feel like I give a lot of advice, but my most important advice would be just don't yeah, get into relationships. Don't do relationships. Yeah. Stay far away from relationships. No good will come out of it. Yeah, facts. just a lot of haram. It's just not necessary. Right. <laughs> a lot of a lot of peace disturbance. That would be my main advice. 
but I will also advise ask I'll also answer advice that I'll also give other advice, but that's my numero one advice. Yeah, have you been in a relationship before? I don't really do relationships. So I've never been in a relationship person. Uh next question. What if your partner has cheated on someone else before you? So they didn't cheat on you, but they've cheated on someone before. I think once you cheat, always a cheat. I can't trust them. I can't look at them the same. I'm sorry. Yeah. Absolutely. That's true. Because if they've done it before, they can do it again. I used yeah. to think that. But that's then... like that's like someone murdered someone before. They they have the capacity to murder someone, even though they're not necessarily going to do it again. They they have it in them to do it. Is that murder? Cheating, murder. No, 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 no. There's no in between with you. No, I'm not going to lie. A murderer and a cheater, same spectrum. What the fuck? What? Yeah. I mean, there's no there's no sentence. There's no jail sentence for cheating, though. Okay, okay, okay. There is no sentence, but I'm saying it's like it's a really bad thing. If you live in Saudi Arabia, isn't there a sentence? I'm pretty sure back in the day there was a sentence. That's if you're caught. So you're saying there's got to be witnesses. At least don't get caught. You you shouldn't get caught. Yeah. Yeah. As Ad said it. This is, this is bad advice. Don't listen to us. Listen, listen to Ad. As he said before, Cheap, cut, cut the cool. picture. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. If you're going to cheat, then? you've got to do it properly, man. Like, Get rid of the receipts, the, innit? Probably. What's and probably, also, why, why do you know that your, that your potential future partner has cheated before? Why are they telling you that? Fam, if you've cheated before... Maybe, maybe you found out from the CRB, though. Sky... <laughs> Could be CRB. Receipts gone. Receipts gone. Yeah, exactly, man. If, if you found out from a CRB, man. then you got caught lacking, innit? That's your Trust own fault. Me. Trust me. But yeah, man. I was obviously I wasn't saying cheating and murder is the same thing, but I'm saying if, if someone has a capacity to do something before, they, it's it's very likely they'll do it again. Do you know what I mean? Like Rafa said, once a cheat, always a cheat, innit? Isn't it like I a statue that. of limitations? Technically, or? they they cheated. They cheated. So are they not a cheater? They're still a cheater. If someone if someone killed one person and they say I'm changing my life, are they still not a murderer? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like a murder. Yeah, Bro, yeah, what yeah. is going on with this murder <laughs> analogy, fam? <laughs> I mean, it's in the <laughs> air now. It's in the air now. Is what it is. The next question says, "AB keeps stealing my girl. What should I do?" What? Oh <laughs> uh, what no! What the fuck? Uh, no. You can't do anything once it gets to Except that. Except it. <laughs> <girls> <laughs> hit. Yeah. Listen. I don't chat to no girl. Now, no That's one. Slides no. Into my DM. Are you, no one are you sure nothing, about bro. that? You I, seem very defensive. No, because no, because this idiot, yeah, this this idiot <laughs> that's, that's sitting over there, yeah. You know, bro. He always pushes his agenda, bro. I actually don't, huh? Guilty people are always defensive. And, uh, and listen, I just don't want people getting the wrong idea of me. Listen, I just do my own thing. No one bothers me. I don't bother no one, fam. Trust listen, me. Listen, once once he's locked You're on to you. You're spreading yourself a lot. It's okay. It's okay. Your honor, please. <laughs> Listen, AB, once, once a fiend, always a fiend, isn't it? I was never a fiend, fam. <laughs> okay. Once is still your girl, always is still your I'm girl. Never. <laughs> it's okay, Listen. you can you can apologize to them publicly here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. Listen, why are we talking about this? Ain't even true. Why are you starting <laughs> for, <laughs> Just say, say sorry. Up, and move on. <laughs> no, listen, I'm, I actually, listen, I'm actually dead on. serious. I'm actually dead serious. I don't, I, I don't, I actually don't bother. I don't talk to no one, fam. No one talks to me. Just yeah, man. You, you see how no one else had to clarify that because yeah. the, the question was directed at me, bro. You're not gonna <laughs> say oh, AB does this and ads are gonna talk to me <laughs> for, for a reason, bro. For a reason. No, ads, you got anything to add to that? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> like, yeah. Jason, you got anything to add to that? You got oh, anything to add to that? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. If the, the final verdict is if if that's happening, it's already too late, man. You can never have a go again in your life. Just, just stop. Just you might as well give up now. Why are you listening? Oh, <laughs> that ex, that ex, that ex that she was comparing you to is right here. <laughs> 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 <I don't know. laughs> Listen, uh, honestly, man, leave me alone, man, please. Uh, <laughs> all right, next question. Anyway, yeah. before you, before you, uh, before you finish that sentence, yeah, just. <laughs> 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 all right. 
<laughs> no, it's funny. Yeah, I apologize. I apologize for the kidding. No, no, that's cool. Wait, were you actually being serious? Huh? What? Right now? No, nah, yeah, I'm, just... oh, okay. I'm joking. I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> Uh, next question says my girl keeps telling me she's a natural flirt and obviously Rahmi you can change this into that would you if your guy said <laughs> guy, guy said he's a natural flirt I said naturally you'll have to die are we talking about <laughs> natural flirt there's no such thing as natural are you dumb what, what natural the fuck? flirt what is well, that naturally you have to die <laughs> natural flirt there's no such thing as a natural flirt oh what would God. that I cannot that's a, are you know embarrassed? How do you, I'm, I'm like I'm not joking. Maybe if I was a bit younger, naive, I'd be like, yeah, it's hard. He's just an actor. At this age, I'd be like, you must be stupid. <laughs> you must because on what planet? Because when you flirt with somebody, you actively flirt. You know what you're doing. Yeah. You know, there's being friendly, and everyone is very cautious of like when they're friendly. That's one thing, but when you're flirting, that's another situation. I agree. AB say I agree, but he's the most natural flirt out of all of us. What the fuck are you doing, man? Oh, 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 oh my god. No, but at the same time, at the same time, it depends. It depends. Like some people they just flirt for fun. Do you know? Yeah, yeah. There's natural flirt, but then you, you should also be respectful. Like, say if you're if you're serious about somebody, maybe you should tone it down just like a little bit, you know? Yeah. Because everyone just has their jokes, you know? This person I feel like if you're with you. someone, I feel like if you, even if, if you're with someone, I feel like them jokes should be reserved. Like, why are you making jokes about like, like flay jokes with other girl? Mm. What if uh, there's a deeper yeah, issue here? You Once you say you're a natural flirt, you're absolving yourself of all responsibility. <laughs> so that can ch- that can carry over to a lot of other things. Like yeah. you can like, live someone and be like, oh, I'm just a natural flirt. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, man. man. You can be a murderer. Man. You can be a natural murderer. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Once you take that responsibility away from yourself, yeah, you know that person's a fiend. So, it's cut like them off, them, man. It's like them girls in it that'll be like, oh, yeah, because Mercury was in retrograde, and that's why I don't want to talk to you today. <laughs> you know I mean? Oh, listen, listen. Oh, wait, one second, yeah. He's if you solid. believe in that fairy dust shit, fam, oh my God. That's space racism, fam. You know what? I don't, I, don't, I don't believe in it because it doesn't align with my religion. Yeah, and also because it's bullshit. <laughs> it's, it's so yeah, man. To be honest, to be honest, if 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 I was to take my religion out of it, like I can see why people do believe it because you can read any star sign, and you think, yeah, this applies to me. Yeah, That's why I genuinely apply to think. everyone. No, I tell you why. Yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. This this is the science. They're so vague. It. They're so vague. Do you know why I think why why girls like astrology so much? Yeah. It's because they have so much toxic behavior. They just want some way to like, like just to blame what on the moon and the stars. It's yeah. because it's because I'm a cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I cheated on you. It's because I'm a. It's because I'm a cancer. I'm gonna be sexist right now. Men should not be looking at star signs, bro. Like we have we have too much things oh, to do. That nobody we should, should be looking at horoscopes and astrology and fucking stars in the sky. Do you know what I mean? We ain't got time for that, man. I'm not saying women have time for that, but clearly some of them do. do Stop I mean? backtracking, men, man. Men don't have time for that. Do you know what I mean? So what are you trying to say Did that you... women do that men can't? Look at star signs. It's weird, man. I don't know. Okay. No, it's no, sounding no, a bit problematic, no. to be honest. Yeah. I don't care. Women, women can do anything that men can do. No, but men can't do everything that women can do. Can that we give birth? Lie. Exactly. I mean, at the end of the day, can we give birth? So no, we can't look at lie. star signs. Women can't be standing up. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they could, they could technically. They physically could, you know. he's, he's, he's gonna want to peace, not <laughs> Anyway, let's move on to the next topic. This is getting a bit too much. And <laughs> men could, men could show their feet without stuff. having, without being har- harassed. So, uh, is that why you're gonna make OnlyFans? <laughs> bro, I will happily make an OnlyFans account, bro. I don't care, man. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'll even paint it as well, so it looks a bit feminine. But paint your toenails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think the guy who I was watching, he did that. He painted his toenails. <laughs> the guy you were watching? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't watching him. Wait, wait what? But I, yeah, I you were subscribed to. <laughs> did I miss part of this conversation? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. I've I've been exposed. No. <laughs> who are you watching? <laughs> so I'm dancing, you know? 
Astaghfirullah. I need to unsubscribe. What, um, <laughs> but yeah, I came across it. I came, I came across it. I didn't watch it. I came across it. Oh, I have to make that clear. Let's talk. Let's move away from this topic. So you want, right do, now, do you want to keep it? Rama's Ram 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 <laughs> hidden folder on her phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit, I'm a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> right, I'm that secret. Uh, let's move on, let's move on. <laughs> so the next question is, would you move in with your in-laws? No, respectfully. This is for um, you, you guys as well, innit? It like, I wouldn't just... totally dismiss it. Fam, if they had like a 17-bedroom house, why not? not wait, me. wait, wait. I'm, I'm, you don't know, you have to ask me twice. <laughs> <I'll be there. laughs> That's what I'm saying. So it's not totally off the table. Yeah, but then if it was like if it was like just like a normal house, I don't think I'd be able to do it. Just ba- um, but I think it depends on the family because a lot of people have good experiences. But I think yeah. just personally, like all the experiences that I've heard from haven't been positive. Mm. I haven't heard of any positive. And I think the main positive is, of course, it is helpful. Of course, you do save money. But I feel like also it is a bit of a strain. And I feel like. Yeah, I feel like I don't know if I'd be able to do it. Because also you have to think about... Sorry, continue. No, no, go on, go on, go on. Like, moving in with people, it takes a lot. Moving in with one person that you've never lived with, that's enough of a strain on a marriage. And then moving in with a whole family of people with different manners, the way that you, like, conduct your day-to-day life is going to be completely different. It's a lot to adjust to. And then it's even more... When you're moving into somebody's like house, you know, when you're moving in with their whole family, and also like it, usually it's the female that moves. So I'm talking about the female perspective, but then you also have to realize that your family's not with you. You're here with a completely different family. So I might feel like I've seen experiences where people feel lonely or they don't feel 100% accepted. But on the other side of the spectrum, there's people that move in with their in-laws and they have a great time. So I think it just depends. Mm. But personally, yeah, I wouldn't. Personally, I don't think I could do it. Mm. Like I said, if the house is big enough, I think there's no problem. But I would, I wouldn't de- bring someone to my house uh, to live. It depends in. if they have if they have brothers as well. Because coming from my house, I don't want to go to somebody else's house and have to wear hijab all around the house. Yeah. That's and true. like if and if their fathers in the house as well, like I don't want to be able. To, I don't want to have to. You know. Do you have to wear hijab in front of your? Oh wait, do you have to wear hijab in front of your in-laws? Not in front of the in-laws, no. But a brother-in-law, yeah. Oh. Mm. I thought they were your father, like, father-in-laws. Little sinner. Your mahram. Yeah. I think, if, especially if you do it the Islamic way, yeah, and your first time moving in together is after marriage, yeah. I feel like mm. it can be a bit tricky if you're moving in and then you have all that pressure of like the parents and the siblings being there in it. Like it might be mm. easier to at least for the first bit just maybe. Obviously, in terms of. You have to think financially. Can you afford to do it? Um, but if you can, maybe like having a bit of a like a privacy for a couple of years, isn't it? Before maybe yeah. thinking, should I go back to my house now, or do you want to carry this on, kind of thing? Because I mm. think just you still have to remember that you're still getting to know someone and what it's like to live with them. If you do it like like the fully fully Islamic way, I mean, of like living together after you get married, so that can be quite hard. And I think like you might need your privacy in it, um, for the, at least for the first couple of years, or at least. Yeah, you know I mean. Yeah, I agree. Um, should we go on to some? We're going to some serious ones now, yeah. Uh, okay. So obviously you can't laugh too much at some of these because uh, the first one. I let, let me not read the first one straight away because that was. A Wait, a disclaimer. I sometimes I laugh in serious situations. But it's fine. It's fine. It, nah, it be I don't time. care if it's serious. I'm gonna laugh. If Wait, it's what, funny, it I'm well? laughing. All right, yeah, I'll read this one. Yeah, it says my mom's uncle's wife. Right, we just have to clarify. My mom's uncle's mom's wife. uncle's wife. Yeah. Mom's so uncle's wife. Your aunt, aunt or great aunt. Yeah. Yeah, your great aunt. Keeps giving me money, so I don't mm. tell the uncle that she's cheating. Shall I make her pay more? Yes. Got a bag, man. Bag. Yeah, of course. <laughs> secure a bag. <laughs> I don't know. Family over okay. everything, man. Tell it. Tell him what's going on. No, that's not. That's not really family, though. I don't know. When you're Bengali. Like everyone you your dad knows is family, bro. Do you know what I mean? So Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just got off it. Do you know how stupid I <laughs> I was this grown ass woman, yeah, paying someone, yeah. <laughs> oh. to keep the mouth shut. 
That's so embarrassing. Yeah, increase the increase the amount in it. Well, you got to yeah, double it, fam. Yeah, you I, I want to know how much she's how much she's paying. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. I need to get in on this action. Man. You should. Sick, she man. should be. She should be paying you at least a wage. Yeah. yeah. For real. No side hustle, enough, man. Enough for you to go and do your own thing and not even worry about them. Enough to keep you distracted. Do you know what? Yeah. Thanks. As advice, maybe don't ask for too much because you got a good thing going here, innit? Don't mess that up. Like. No, but it's nothing that she can do. If she, it's called negotiation. Is, yeah. What if she, she says, nah, fuck it. I, I don't want to pay you anymore because you're asking for too much. Yeah, that's the thing. Tell the truth. You can't push it too much in it because obviously Free that's yourself. your your mum's uncle's generation. So they're old. They're going to die soon anyway. So there's only so long you can keep that secret. Whoa. Right? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Huh? Well, what was this person no. you? Because you clearly thought about this before. No, 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 no. I'm saying you got to think about the age, innit? There's only so long you soon. can, I need the can money. hold on to the secret. Like... Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, you got to milk it. So for, maybe for also, you, you have to money. think about. Yeah. You know the key. The key to negotiation is to be dramatic. <laughs> so, for example, if you want something, you have to say way more than you actually really want. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then you'll be more likely to get what you want. You meet in the middle, innit? Yeah. Exactly. You have to say something wild. If you want double, say triple, and then you negotiate for double. Yeah, milk it. <laughs> I think that situation is so fucked up. But at the same time, I kind of envy you, innit? I would want... I, I, I could do that easily. The bag I, is the bag. Do you know what I mean? For real. Getting paid to keep my mouth shut? That's, that's so calm, man. Mm. Um, I'll do that. i do that for free. Give me the I money. For free? Oh. <laughs> that's not As in, free. like, I keep my... I keep my mouth shut for free, so I mean, uh, if you're gonna pay me, yeah, that's true. Next one says, "I think I have a problem because of a family situation that happened to me. I hate all men." Um, I'm assuming they mean something mm-hmm. traumatic happened to them, innit? Yeah, that's yeah. before we start I making mean, jokes. It depends on the situation. <laughs> yeah, I think they mean something traumatic, innit? Like a family situation. I think that's completely understandable because yeah. if something were to happen to you. And you still hold that back in, in the back of your mind, and you resent men because of that. It's understandable, but at the yeah. same time, hopefully you do meet someone that is meant for you, and you are able to overcome that. I suggest going for with it, the man. right person. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hundred percent. Or talk to someone about it. Do you get me? Mm. Yeah. yeah. They're talking to us. Oh, just smoke some crack. Whoa, 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 bro! They've been through, they've been through something traumatic, oh. and you're trying to make them into a needy fam to cope with it. He, he's trying to up his sales, man. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> got... <laughs> Times are tough. Clean money, clean <laughs> money, club. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, no, I did this. It's the front. It's the front. Yeah, do you, do you get me? It's, it's, it's the wash up. It's the wash up the money, man. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I think I think that's totally understandable, isn't it? Like, don't beat yourself. If you yeah, feel like man. you hate all men, yeah. it's, it's completely fine and no one's going to be Yeah. It's not about offending people. Like, just, you get me? Just it's not like, offensive. Yeah. I hate all men too. Let's be realistic, though. You don't actually hate all men. Like... Me? Yeah, no, no, no. The pers- this I person. Hate this men. person. I, I think the sentiment is that she's, she's not, like... She just trusting. means, like, probably... There's probably certain people or certain men that she doesn't hate, but as in she maybe means... Like in when she's speaking to new men, she yeah. just hates all of the people yeah, that she's yeah. speaking to. Could be it could be a guy, you know. We never know. Do you know what I mean? That also hates but women. She, oh yeah, or he it. doesn't. Or, well, d- or, or if they truly hated men, they wouldn't be listening to us. No, this was sent to Rahma. Oh. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> they might they might hate you too, Rahma. No, I'm joking, but obviously it's a very serious oh, situation. No. I'm guessing. Um, and that's yeah, but understandable, I, I, isn't it? I think that's a very blank blanket statement. I, I, I highly, highly, highly doubt you hate all men. Like you can't hate all the men you like, like your your dad, your brothers, your uncles, whatever. It's you actually I mean? also a possibility that she does hate all the men because it could be you never know what happened to her. It could have it mm-hmm. could be like it could be men in her family. That's the reason why she resents all other men. Yeah, I mean that's why she's saying it was a family situation. So maybe some one people don't have big families. Some people yeah. just have one male figure in their whole family. That's it. Mm. And it could be like mm-hmm. the other states like stayed silent on it or like enabled that one guy. Do you know what I mean? Like she might, mm. she might very much well might hate them in it. Mm. Yeah. And I feel like it's a bit weird, isn't it, to get into if someone says I hate women because something traumatic happened to them, 
to get into the semantics of like, oh, but you don't hate women. Like, I, I feel like it's a bit, not to like come onto you there, but like, it's a bit It's very insensitive. <laughs> no, no, it's insensitive. I don't, but it is a bit I insensitive. I could not care less. <laughs> Mm. I think the main takeaway I think the main takeaway is that you should like we would advise you speak to someone seek help yeah, seek help seek help seek help man because like even cool hate men but it's just unhealthy for someone to keep that in and like it's just it's like yeah. eating someone alive innit and hopefully that situation has like eased for you and then got better because yeah. it doesn't sound like a yeah. situation to be in um, so yeah hopefully <clears throat> Uh, that was the serious one. The next one says, "I feel like I'm catching my fe- catching feelings for my ex, but should I try again if it didn't work the first time?" It depends why it didn't work. Yeah, we don't run back to the exes, man. I agree. Yeah, for real. It if it was bad enough for you to end, if it was bad enough for you to end the relationship, then do you know what I mean? No, I'm joking, bro. If it's, I hear that, but it's, bro. If you're try it, shoot your shot. You get me? Shoot your shot. If you miss, you miss. You get me? No man, oh. always a murderer. Once a murderer, always a murderer. <laughs> Listen, if you hit oh, yourself I'm, now, I'm gonna I'm gonna think about that from now on. I'm gonna say once a murderer, always a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, it depends what they did. You you might have changed. They might have changed. Yeah. No, but at the same time, I feel like it's a very common thing. Yeah, where I've seen in other people, where guys will see that a female's happy and then they'll try and, you know, what I mean. Mm. Then yeah. they'll come back. Like, is that a thing that guys like to do? That I to do. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know either. But... I wouldn't know either. <laughs> <laughs> I know for a fact one of us here is lying. And like I can say, well, is not me. So <laughs> that only leaves one person. What do you mean one brother? There's three of us here. Two, two truths, one lie. Yeah. I mean, I'm the only one who said Walloy, well, so. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I forgot what the question was. In case, isn't it? I forgot what. I mean, <laughs> no, I don't think I've Next question. That. No, I'm not talking about you. No, maybe not you guys, but I've seen it happen to other females, like other like females that I know. Huh? Like As in, like happy. when when they when they've recovered, the guy will come back. Yeah, it's sabotage, isn't it? Mm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's leave that. Someone here is looking very saucy, you know, fam. Yeah, I was gonna say, I know for a no. fact it's not me. And AB said, "Well, I so it yeah. has to be Georgian, isn't it?" <laughs> no, I've never gone. I've never before gone. anyone says, "Oh yeah," he said, "Listen, I said Walai because even if I said it wasn't me, I was, no one's gonna believe me anyway. So I had to go for the highest extreme." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if he's if he's both mature, if there's something that's like not relevant anymore, hmm. then you can try again. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> Next one says, "My friend only <laughs> only dates ugly men. How should I tell her?" <laughs> <laughs> I would say, "Don't don't get involved. Mind your business." But like, just sort on the inside to count. That's the most important thing. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? I mean, what's ugly to you is not necessarily ugly to someone else. <laughs> I like the eye of the beholder, fam. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes the beholder is blind. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> situation. <laughs> I, I can't believe this. You know, there's some people that like send their partner or whatever, potential partner, into the group chat waiting for approval, bruv. Like, I don't think any of us yeah, have ever mad. done that before. That's mad. No. Nah. Not gonna lie, I do that all the time. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> no, you're not. But how's no, this well, person I'm pressed over someone else? Well, I'm joking. Well, I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, I'm joking. I'm joking. I had to say, well, lie. Well, lie, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you saying? That's... I was going to say, how are you pressed about someone else's relationship? Why do you care? Mm. I mean, yeah. let them let them date someone ugly. What if they like ugly people? I guarantee that person's yeah. ugly as well with no one trying to move to them as well. Yeah, for real. Mm. Yeah, may- maybe that's your friend's level, isn't it? Like, you never know. Yeah, your friends are two. <laughs> maybe if- Maybe you know some people they don't want people that are like really good looking. What medium yeah. ugly? Yeah, like medium ugly. I feel like it's more so like girls that they're not like looks is not like a hundred percent. That's true, you know. I feel like mm. girls are less superficial than guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, because let me explain. 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 But just like in general, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I see. Wait, hold on. Before you continue, yeah. 
try to talk yeah, outside of your circle. Do you know what I'm saying? Because, mm. okay, cool. You might not be like that and your circle might not be like that. But yeah. think about the grand scheme of things, like the bigger picture. No, but I'm thinking about the bigger picture. When I see it in the bigger picture, I feel like I see more good looking females than I see good looking males. I don't know that's, if that's that sounds like a question. superficial thought to me, not gonna lie. Is that so you're just is looking that at like, just oh, these females in the male sinking? No, but I'm, looking, one's... I'm no, but I'm just saying, like, just in general, like, I feel like females go for don't always go for looks, but some there's a lot of males that look more into females' looks. I, I no? disagree, I can't lie. Do you know why? Maybe though? those girls just look good for themselves. Do you know why? There's a reason. It's because there's a lot of ugly rich men. So, <laughs> like, no, money, but the there's, there's, more there's, there's Wait, other things like <laughs> pers- <laughs> personality. There's personality. There's like sense of humor. Yeah. You know, but the, but a guy won't always shoot his shot at a girl because she has a good sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but I feel like in, in, looks only in go guys, so far. Yeah, but I'm saying I feel like init- when two are initially speaking to somebody. Mm, I disagree. I can't like, like, you, like the first if two you seconds. Saw, if you saw someone that was good looking or someone that was not good looking, you'd be more likely to speak to someone that was good looking. And then later on you find out, oh, okay, their personality is not there, then you back away. No, but wouldn't wouldn't that be, be the same with, with Gal as well? Because mm. 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 ain't no yeah. girl shooting their shot with with anyone like that's not good looking or who they seem as good look, uh, as good looking. Mm. Unless they got money. <laughs> <That'd be it. laughs> but a female can have money. I ain't got money. <laughs> a female can have a, f- a female can have money too. A yeah, but most men, no one, no, I can't most like, men there's no, look- there's no guy be. that dates a woman because of their money. Yeah. I do. If Could you're be. rich, no. <laughs> and you listen to us. If, 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 if your no. dad owns a business and he's close to dying and you got no brothers, please let me know right now. <laughs> not necessarily. You can be somebody's sugar mama, sugar mama. That's not. Yeah, but I feel like that it's less. What, what are the chances? What are the no, chances? That exists too. I don't want that. It's I less prevalent, that. man. Do you know what I mean, I mean, I would I'm say, not, I would not say no. <laughs> if, if, if you're a sugar mama listening, hit me up. You get me, but it's it's not. Hit me we're up gonna, too. We're gonna see AB in Dubai next week. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm gonna be living up in Dubai, fam. Uh, PS5 flight. is getting secured. He's gonna get shit on, fam. Catch your <laughs> flight, sent you links. This guy's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't lie. I disagree with that. Still, I can't lie. I agree with the, the original statement that you you do see like more good-looking girls with guys that are not on their level, like. In terms of like physical looks and stuff, yeah, but I don't think girls. But at are the same time, the there's no, no, no. At the same time, there's nothing wrong with that. I think looks are not important at all. But I don't think girls think that though. I think girls are a lot of girls are very image based in it. Like, oh, what does this look like? What does this car look like? What it yeah. doesn't have to be just the guy, and it could be look like. What does his house look like? What does his social media look like? What does he look like in a snap story? Do you know what I mean? Well, no, I think that's very superficial, though. Yeah, I, yeah, that's, girls, that's, that's, girls, that's, 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 that's what's the point. happening. Not all girls think like that, though. We're not saying that. We're saying that that's the majority. We're saying a, a I don't believe them. that's the majority. As no, a no, female, I, I, I'm speaking on behalf I of I think females. that you, you believe that's <laughs> true. But what you said, but what you said is so funny, because what you said about, like, things like the car and the Instagram and things like that, like, it does, like, the, maybe the Instagram and the Snapchat is a bit of an ick, but then, I feel like in this day and age, social media is not that deep. Sometimes, you know, we just want to be appreciative. We don't want to be shown off to your 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 circle, or your friends, for our car or like the food or or our snap story or stuff like that. We just want to be appreciated as human beings, you know. And it's just tough. Yeah, of like, course. Why is someone you've been used and abused? <laughs> I was trying to, trying to make I was trying to make women feel bad. <laughs> Look, guys, I'm getting wind, wind and dine today. I'm like, I'm like, I got the kind of money for that. <laughs> Lunchtime menu. Top <laughs> <laughs> uh, four, man. Top four. Oh, my friend only goes for ugly people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. think let her, let her do what she wants. Yeah, they're, they're ugly to you, man. It doesn't mean they're ugly to her. Wait, was it a girl who sent that in? 
It says ugly men. It could be the guy. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, ugly he's, trying to, he's trying to ruin the market for us ugly people, man. <laughs> Allow it. Hey, are, you fishing for, are you fishing for compliments? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting. Wait, come on. Uh, next question. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that. It's goodbye. <laughs> uh, well, guys, thank you for tuning into this podcast. <laughs> for all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've been through this one kind of before, and it uh, so it says I think I hate men, but so I'm gonna skip past that one in it because we've kind of mm. said everything. Um, next one said this girl is wasting my time, but I want to marry her. What? How do you know fuck? she's wasting your time? That guy's a simp. Yeah, there's nothing mm. wrong with that, but like, surely you just need to get on, have a conversation, and get on the same page in it. Do you know what I mean, don't tell us. Tell no, the but the point is that they're not on the same page. What if it's insecurity and he thinks, oh my God, what if she's wasting my time? What if she's doing this? What if she's doing that? If, she's, if he's saying that, then surely they've, they've had a conversation about it. How else would he know that she's wasting his time? So what, what do you think they sh- he should do if they've had the conversation and she said, no, not yet? Cut her off, man. Yeah. Life's too it, short. Then it depend on the reason, though. What if she, like, for example, let's say they're both, like, 20 or something and she wants to finish uni first. Do you know what I mean? Calm. Mm. They'll be finish- she'll be finishing uni in, like, a year. That's all right. It's not that deep. I mean, some people get married because they can't wait in it, but, you know. <laughs> I'm not saying this is that person, but it could be, you know, you never know. I would say don't rush her because I feel yeah. like you both need to be on the same page. And if you feel like she's wasting your time, have a discussion, find out what is the root cause, like, why do you feel like she's wasting your time? But I'm not going to lie, that, that uni thing is a very good reason to put off marriage. 100%. So... And why would you want to get married to someone who's still in uni anyway? Not like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, surely they should just focus on their career or whatever and their degree, then focus on whatever after. Do you get me? Mm. I don't know. I think you can do both find no? out what the reason is, isn't it? Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think you can do both if you're serious. Mm. It's a lot of I work. Think it man. depends, it not depends easy, on no, the bro. people. I think it depends how you do it as well, isn't it? Like, some people will be like, oh, we're married now, we need to, like, do the whole big ceremony and then move in together and our life has to be a certain way. But if you just want to make it halal, you can just, like, carry your life on, but as a married couple, yeah. you know what I mean? You don't have to move yeah. in together and do all that stuff. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Now you I can agree. go on dates, but in a halal way, isn't it? Because now you have the nikah and everything. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we're assuming this person is Muslim. But, Kyojin's yeah. spitting facts right now. Mm. I feel like it needs to be more normalized, isn't it? Like people are so pressured to do, especially in Asian families, and it have this big ceremony, and that's why they put it off so long. But if mm. you want to do it, just do a quiet thing, and then when you have the opportunity or you're ready, then you can do things like yeah. move in, uh, have the big ceremony if you want to. Um, yeah. Other than that, like, do you know what I mean, if you want to make it halal, make it halal. Do you know what I mean, with your parents' mm. consent, obviously, you know. If, unless you're AB and he said he's just gonna tell them it's it's today and you come. Hey yo, here's the time, the place. I, like, oh. <laughs> I told you that, that, that none of that shit applies to me anyway, man. My, I mean, I know family. a couple of my like that anyway, but my, yeah. my family's gravy. Yeah. So what's the final verdict on that one? This girl's wasting my time, but I want to marry her. You obviously have different. You have a different vision for your relationship, innit? You your your views don't align. So you're not made for each other. How can you ma- marry someone that doesn't want to marry you? Yeah. It doesn't have to end there, man. Surely they could talk it out. It do does I mean? have to end there. Is, do it does. How, but I want you to know, how did this person know that she's wasting his time? Do you get me? That's what I'm saying. That conversation has happened already, right? Yeah, exactly. So if, you're obviously... When, if, you, if you guys are not on the same like, wave... Yeah. Go keep it Don't waste time, I, I man. think it depends, man. If, if it's like no, but yes later... Then that's fine. If it's like no, and I don't know whether I'm gonna marry you later, then like yeah, it's yeah, a bit yeah. weird. Yeah. All right. This one says had a huge crush on a guy, got rejected, and I got over it. In like quotes, I got over it. Um, but now I'm numb, and I honestly don't feel pain or sadness. And my Somali parents would never take me to a therapist. So some tips, please. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is because all of this happened because she got rejected from a guy. Yeah. Well, don't, yeah, don't, but you don't, don't know. Don't, you don't know how. Don't know I'm not. I'm not. I'm just. Affect, I'm just. You don't know to, how something, something will affect somebody mentally. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm. What they're going through. You can uh, take yourself to a therapist. Maybe, you don't yeah, need your parents. Yeah, seek, you can have free sessions. Seek your own therapy. Yeah. And now, because of COVID, there's there's ways that you can do therapy without actually going to see a therapist. You mm. can do it virtually. 
you can speak to there's there's ways that you don't even have to um video time like somebody you can actually speak on the phone so yeah, i'd you say can speak, well. speak alternatives chat, chat to your gp man yeah. Yeah. because when you go you can... when you go to your gp though yeah like as a, just a word of warning with all illnesses, just like hype it up a little bit. Do you know what I mean, yeah. like make it seem worse than it is. Yeah, yeah be extra dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, man, you can get you can get some free sessions, man. Free therapy sessions. And also, yeah, just like as advice from us as well, just to remember that no person completes you, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, also, the way you're feeling now, you're gonna you're gonna you will get over it eventually, and then you'll think to yourself like, mm. why was I so hooked on this person when really this. You're stopping yourself from talking to other people who live in your own life, and you need to just try day by day go do things in it. This um, person mentioned they've got Somali parents, right? Yeah. So that we can assume they're Muslim, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Keep it halal, bro. Do you know what I mean, just forget about this person. Yeah. It's easier said than done, though. No, it's not. But I think, I think, yeah, I think is. if God, I think, no, but I think if God <laughs> removes no. someone from your life, easier done than said, bro. <laughs> no, but I think, I think if God, if God has removed something from your life, or you choose to avoid like haram for the sake of Allah, you'll be yeah. rewarded for it. Mm. Big facts. You're, you're still gonna be upset though, at the end of the day. Yes. Do you know what I mean? It's not like you, you can just be like, today I'm not upset because I'm not meant to be upset. Do you know what I mean, listen, listen, you can't be talking about Islam than throwing out gun fingers, you know. This, nah, this, but the, <laughs> I was clicking I mean, my finger, finger what time right <laughs> Big fact. You're yeah. gonna have Sid's knocking on your door, fam. <laughs> Rahma's got towers behind her back. I, you know, oh, so, so do I. Huh? <laughs> this is a big rich town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys just come yeah, from man. the first part, not us. We live in the city. Hmm? No, okay, let's continue. There's there's bigger problems in life in it like I, I think no 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 no, no. Uh, let's not wait hold on, hold on. there'll, there'll always be bigger problems in problems, someone else's yeah. life though man what don't trivialize relationship problems no as in like because obviously if some something might not be deep to you but it might be deep to someone else in it and clearly as you, from what she's saying she's saying she's numb she don't feel pain or sadness that's pretty peak to be honest you know what I mean like even if we don't think it's something to get upset over. At the end of the day, she's still upset over it. To a point but hold on, this, this, like this. this is this is a person that had a crush on it. It wasn't even a relationship. It's a huge crush on this guy, mate. She was mm. obsessed, I'm guessing. It was just a crush. Mm. This person doesn't know you exist. She got rejected. Wow. Listen, but she then she got rejected. But then again, maybe it was the emotional thing of it. Like, she worked her way up. She had to, you know... That's she, mad, she though. Shot, though like... She had to, hey, yo, what are you telling me, darling? And then... If, if you said that you deserve to get rejected, I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I feel like? Um, no, but I'm sure she didn't say that. But then it probably like also emotionally, like it could have taken a lot of courage, and there could have yeah. been a lot of background things that were happening as well. That's the reason why um, it took such a toll on her emotionally. You know, mm. I would say just focus on yourself, focus on like your religion, yeah. focus on building your like your own path, and everything yeah. else will fall into place, man. Don't worry yeah, about anything. Don't worry about relationships. All of that shit mm. will just knock you down, man. It'll get better in time, man. Mm. Um, yeah. Trust the process. I feel like I'm a bother to someone I'm talking to. This is the last question, by the way. You feel like you're a bother? Yeah, to someone I'm talking to. Not me, this person. <laughs> that sounds like a big, big insecurity then. If someone came to me and said, oh, I feel like I'm a bother to you, I'd be like, okay. That's it. That's, that's the end of the conversation. I'd be like, I would say, go bother somebody else. You know? Yeah. That's you know harsh. why? Because I feel like no, but I feel like something like that. Yeah, I can say, oh no, you're not a bother. But if someone who's gonna keep saying, oh okay, like, oh, am I bothering I you? Are you yeah. sure? I'm, it's gonna get to a point where I'm gonna be like, mm, yeah, you are actually. Goodbye. I think you might be insec- the first insecurity is not attractive, yeah. in it. Yeah, you and confidence is. This. Yeah, because you know the girls would be like, you, what? You, you can be, you can be mad, yeah, and they'll be like, in the middle of the night, they just wake up and be like, do you actually like me? Do you know what I mean? Or do you like me or do you like like me? Do you know what I mean? They, I feel like girls, they want validation too much, innit? Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like if you're not getting it, you need to, there's something you need to consider. Why are you not getting it? Yeah, but how much validation do you need? Do you need validation every day? Every hour, yeah. every minute? <laughs> mm. if, if I was sleeping and somebody woke me up and said, do you like me? I would fly kick them. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think it depends though, you know, because I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes when you know when I go out to motives and stuff, I don't. It doesn't mm. happen anymore. But like when I come home, my anxiety would be like, oh yeah, you spoke too much, or like the people there were probably annoyed by how much you were talking and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean, I don't. It doesn't happen anymore because now I feel like, oh, you know, my friends appreciate me and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, that's what you. That's what you think, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, yeah my you're talking too much now. <laughs> 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 you know what are you saying Kojin you guys were just saying how you don't appreciate my, my company in it so I don't, know, I don't want to talk no more no no we weren't uh, saying no. that we were just saying you talk too much <laughs> <laughs> yeah we were just saying you just revealed a bit too much like there's something that still needs to be said it depends on the person like some people just feel anxiety in it and I'll say to that person like it's just in your head you're, sec- you're second guessing yourself in it like just yeah. remind yourself that people the, the only reason people talk to you is because they want to talk to you I mean, you can't force no one to yeah. do anything. So if that person and is then, talking to you, like respect the reason why they're talking to you. Like understand they're talking to you because they like you or they want to talk mm. to you. Innit? Uh, some people are just busy, man. You can't always expect someone uh, to always be like mm. giving you mm. like attention 100% of the time. And yeah. also some people don't care. Like you might think, oh my God, I said this too much to some people, but everyone, you have to think about it. everyone has their own things going on. Everybody's worried about their life. Never ever have I like thought, okay, maybe there is a few times what I've thought, but it's very rarely I think, okay, that person said too much. Oh, okay, this da 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 da. Like everyone's just so focused on like what they're going to doing in their day to day life that whatever you revealed or whatever you said. spoke about, you know? Because mm-hmm. I think everyone is the center of their own universe. Mm, you yeah. think everyone's going to think this about you nobody really cares I agree um, yeah did you guys Very ever true. have like this moment where you know as kids yeah I really thought that I was the only person who existed if that makes sense like everyone else was just side main character energy yeah I don't know how to explain it like they were just there they didn't have thoughts and feelings like I do they were just doing their thing do you know what I mean yeah I don't know why but for a lot, like until I was like eight years old, uh, mm. I think I was. There, there you, there you go again. You're oversharing again, but you know. Oh, yeah. that's, that's too much, Dad. Did you need to say that? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's gonna never talk again. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. That was so mean. I'm sorry. I just went with the flow of this. I just went with the flow, but I'm, I'm not involved. I'm not involved. <laughs> I retract my statement. He's talking too much. The damage is done. <laughs> yeah. The damage is done, so I guess I'll be leaving. <laughs> yeah, the question is, I feel like I'm above a talk I'm to someone I'm talking to. You need to have some Explain your feelings. Man. I can't lie. If you feel like that, nine times out of ten, you probably are, man. Believe in your own story. You know? You can't always expect other people to big you up. You have to big yourself up. Because if you're always constantly looking for reassurance from other people, that's what you're going to live on. That's what you're going to thrive on. You can't live your life like that. Because there's going to be times where people aren't going to give you reassurance. Are you okay, kid? You can talk now. It's okay. We have to wait for permission. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This is the energy that you need. You don't need to wait for permission. Don't let anyone chat to you. You were the one giving me permission. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm I apologise. I take it back. No, I'm joking. Okay. I'm joking, man. But I think a- AB's answer is an answer from a very secure person. I don't think, I think he's too secure to relate to that kind of thing. Yeah. I just don't give a fuck, man. I just don't care, man. It's not about being secure. I just don't care, man. That sounds like I didn't, I I didn't talk lot. to anyone to feel like I'm bothering anyone. So. Yeah. I think a lot more people need to adopt that, um, that attitude. Don't care what other people think, man. Yeah, man. Just do your own thing. You know yeah, I mean? just go about your life. Because why do you care when other people don't care? You yeah, know what I'm real, saying, man. No one. That's the. I feel like yeah. That's what. That's the harsh reality that everyone needs to realize. That no one gives a fuck. Like, no one cares. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, just need, you just need to do you. Yeah. You are the center the of your own now. universe. Like rate yourself from now and then, and tell yourself positive yeah. things. And if they're not giving you the same energy back, then maybe think about why that is. Do they deserve for you to be bothering them? <laughs> no. Take your bother back. You know what I mean. <laughs> In 2021, we're taking our bothers back. What is someone who deserves it? Exactly. 2021, we're taking all of our bothers back. We're only bothering people who deserve us. We're going to need a list of quotes from Rahma today, you know. 
Yeah, yeah I, I feel like you dropped a couple <laughs> gems, you know. Yeah. No, the, the funniest yeah, one yeah. was uh, if you're a natural like flirt, me. you naturally have to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, so I, I won't be returning next week. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Time there'll be no one to send the Zoom link. <laughs> We're going to be waiting. <laughs> you know, you can send your own Zoom link. No, Wait, you can, is that that shit you can send it and not talk. Is that what I'm being reduced to? The person who sends the list? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're talking too much again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. Continue, continue. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Bad day, bad day. What's... All right. What's everyone's final takeaway of all the questions that we got today? We'll, we'll obviously go guess first. Uh, Rahma, what was your f- final takeaway of the questions that we got today? I would say believe in yourself. Don't let anyone um, talk you down from who you are. Follow your instincts because a lot of the time your instincts are there for a reason. And if something makes you uncomfortable, speak up about it and communicate. I would have died if you said Kerogen talks too much. <laughs> no, I don't want to go there. <laughs> I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. The feelings are I only there, say man. nice things. I'm, I apologize. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Go on, ads be good. I feel like most people who sent in their dilemmas are not ready for relationships. Uh, most people in the world are not ready for relationships and they just get into them for the sake of it. I feel like. You're not ready, leave. Yeah, don't force it, man. You can, you can, you can live your life without without forcing yourself into a relationship, man. There's, there's so much, there's so many other things to focus on. You know what I mean? If it's yeah. causing you that much grief, it's not worth it. I agree. A- Ab. Yeah. I feel like people just need to just focus on themselves, build something for themselves, because a lot of these people in relationships or want to have a relationship have nothing to bring to the table. So, mm. um, just focus on yourself, man. Build, build. Like, surely everyone's got, like, goals outside of just being in a relationship, do you get me? So, if you just focus on that, everything else will just fall in place, man. Yeah, What's your takeaway? What's your takeaway? Yeah. I don't really have a takeaway today, to be honest, not going to lie. All the, all the scenarios are so different that there's no blanket statement for all of them, in it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I agree with most of you, to be honest. Uh, like, trust your instincts, as Rahma said. Like, your gut feeling is mo- almost always right for you, in it might not be right for someone yeah. else but it's the right feeling for you um i stopped looking at everything so black and white in it i have to bring back yeah. this word but look at things with nuance in it uh, and also remember everyone has their own things going on in their life yeah. and if you want future and more in-depth relationship advice hit me up on insta at ashake.jpg <laughs> my dms that's not even your app that's not your app yeah, it's not my app <laughs> it's not my app <laughs> it's <laughs> it's <laughs> It was very nice to be here today. That was Thank relationship you for, it's advice. my first time on a podcast ever. It was great. We Did should you do this yourself? again. Part two. Yeah, it was great. Uh, thank you for listening to the episode and we'll leave you um, with one thing. Like, comment and subscribe. Subscribe to the podcast. Goodbye. Leave a review as well. And goodbye. <laughs> a review <laughs> <on my> <laughs>